Hello, welcome to the second video of this R series in study tonight channel. In this video, we will be talking about how to install R softwares. So this video will constitute the installation of both R and the R IDE R Studio software. So we'll be dealing ahead with both the installation today. Let's start. But before that, let's talk about what are the differences between R and R Studio. So R is basically a statistical software used for data analysis, machine learning, business analytics, and visualization. R is the basic software that you need to install in your system. But as R interface is not so user friendly, we have multiple IDEs available for R. The very famous is called as R Studio. So R Studio basically enable you to write in an interactive way. It shows you the suggestions for the functions, for the methods, those are directly available in R. It also help you to write a user friendly code. But remember, R Studio will only work if R is already installed in your system. So for today's session, first we will install R and then we'll move to R Studio. So these are some of the URLs from where you can install R and R Studio. You will find these URLs in the description box. What I am going to do now is I will install both these software for you so that you can get uh, the steps to install on your system. I will be demonstrating this installation steps in my Windows system. Similar you can follow in your Mac systems also. There are some basic requirements to install R and R Studio. Those are pretty basic like uh, it should have an Intel compatible platform running, you know, Windows system if you are using the Windows uh, machine. Uh, so your Windows uh, version should be 7 and above. At least 256 MB of RAM should be available. Nowadays, every uh, system have, uh, you know, RAMs in GBs. You should have the administrative privilege, which will be required to install R and R Studio. And then a network connection so that you can download it. Now let's start and see how to download it. So first, open this URL. So this URL is basically for Windows users. You need to click this download R 3.6.1 for Windows. It's of 81 megabytes. So depending upon your internet speed, you uh, you can download. It will take some time to download it. So I have already downloaded. So I am showing you how to install it now. So here is the folder where I have my R software already downloaded. It will be downloaded in your default uh, folder called as downloads if you have not customized it. Else, wherever you have customized, it will be downloaded in that folder. Now, just double click over here. It will show you a welcome window. So it will show you this kind of window where it asks me to select the language. There are multiple languages available. Default will be English. Let's keep this. Click on OK. Now the installation window will get started. Simply click on Next. Then it asks you to choose like where you want to install this. At least one uh, 2.5 MB of free disk space will be required. If you want to change the folder, you can click on browse and you will be getting the option. If not, simply click on next. Now it asks you like what kind of installation you need. User installation, 32 bit, 64 bit or custom installation. By default, let it be six, uh, user installation only where it supports all kind of files. Now. For this selection, you need 194.3 MB of disk space. Make sure that you are having this, uh, you know, this much disk space in the folder where you are installing it or in the drive where you are installing it. Click on next. Then it asks me like, please specify like you want to, uh, to customize the startup process or not. Let it be default. So just click on next. Now again, it asks you like you want to, you know, any menu folder you want to provide. Simply click on next. Right. If you want to create a desktop shortcut, simply click yes. Right. And then click on next. It might take some time for you to install, but uh, usually it will be done within a minute. So uh, it, it won't take much of the time for you. Wait for the installation to complete. Once the installation will get completed, you will get this window where it says click finish to exit the setup. So I'll just click finish over here and the installation has been completed. Now you can go in your start menu and can look for where R has been installed. Right. 
So, okay, so here it is. So just click on this one. Okay, so this is the R window that we have received, right? Now you can write down any command. We'll be working on these commands a little later and it's showing me like what is my working directory. So get WD is for the working directory. So it's showing me the working directory. So this way R has been installed on our system and we can now start writing the course in our R. Now let's start and install R Studio, which is an interactive IDE for R. Currently, as you saw, we had to write the complete get WD everything over here to get the details, right? It didn't show me any kind of suggestions over there. But if you will use R Studio for already inbuilt functions and methods, it will show you the suggestions also. So now let's start and install our IDE called as R Studio. So here is the link for it. Simply browse through this link. So you will get through a landing page where it will show you different, um, uh, you know, uh, pricing plans for R Studio, like R Studio Desktop, which is free. It's under open source license. Then R Studio Desktop for commercial license, it costs around 995 USD per year. Then R Studio servers are there and pro versions are there, which is a commercial license, and it costs this 4975 per year. For you, R Studio Desktop open source license for free would be sufficient. Simply click on download and you will be redirected to the download section of it. And here, depending upon your OS operating system and the versions, you can select any of these files. As I am using Windows 10 with 64 bits, so I will select the first one, R Studio 1.2.135, Windows 7 plus 64 bit. The size is 126.9 MB, and this is the latest one that you can download. Simply click on it, and your download will get started. So it might take again some time to get downloaded depending upon your internet speed. Once it has been downloaded, you can browse through your downloaded folder and you will find a software something like this. Again, simply double click on it like you install any other software on your Windows system and you will start getting the installation pane for now. So this kind of installation widget you will be getting. Simply click on next. It asks me like where I want this uh, uh, this to be installed, like destination folder. By default, it will create in your C file under program files. A folder will be automatically created with the name R Studio. If you want to change it, again you may change it. For this, the space required is 719.2 MB. It shows me like my disk space remaining is 164 GB, and so we are good to get started. Simply click on next. Now it asks me to choose up a startup menu folder. Simply click on install. You don't need to select any, right? Because our main intention is to work on R and R Studio. I don't want currently to get this uh, linked with any other software. So we are good to click on install. Again, it might take some time, maybe more than a minute or so. And you can click on show details and can get to know like which DLLs are currently, which all DLLs are currently getting installed, right? So you need to wait for some moment till the time this is getting installed on your system. Once the installation will get completed, you will get a final window, something like this, which says R Studio has been installed on your computer. Click finish to close the wizard. Simply click on finish. And now if you want to open R Studio, you can again browse through your um, Windows menu and can either uh, search for R Studio or can look out over here. So here is R Studio, R Studio Desktop. Simply click on it. As we are opening R Studio for the first time, so it might take a while to get open. Once done, it will be something like this. You can click on it over here and this is your R Studio. So now if you are writing any uh, command, it will, can you see this? We are getting now suggestions, what you, what you want to do, right? So simply select get WD, click on OK, and this is the working directly folder I have received. So that's the benefit of R Studio or any R IDE. It gives you a feature rich interface where you can write your code in an efficient manner, which can help you to work on the errors as quickly as possible, can help you with the, some suggestions and multiple other things. In the next video, I will help you to go through the interface of R Studio and we will write our first R program. 
that's for now thanks for watching